Hello and welcome to this month's top monthly online videos and my special guest this week is... It's Akina! Hello, how are you? Hi. <laughs> right, so, shall we go in with our first video? Yeah, let's go. Cool. Our best interview this month is a series called High Powered Fails by Broadly. My boyfriend and business partner came in and announced he was marrying my secretary. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was some kind of a joke. I'm Barbara Corker and I'm a shark investor on ABC's Shark Tank. Yeah, I really love the animations here to tell the story. Mm -hmm. That takes so much time to do, but it is very effective. It's very effective. Like I would usually just switch off mm -hmm. by now, like yeah. people tend to, for yeah. like a minute. Um, but it just keeps you engaged because visually there's something to follow. Yeah, it's a very good way to keep a talking head interesting. Definitely something that we can apply to all of the talking heads that we do. Mm -hmm. um, we just need to find someone that can do that level of animation really easy, but in like a day. It's fine. Yeah, this wouldn't work for a sort of fast-paced need to get it out tomorrow no, type video. Right. Like you said, it's a series called High Powered Fails and mm -hmm. um, it talks to powerful women in their respective industries mm -hmm. about moments in their life where they didn't quite hit the mark. And I think culturally, um, where it places in, in this generation of viewers, mm -hmm. it's very powerful in that people nowadays don't want to see perfection. Like yeah. it, it hits a personal level when you can talk about your failures. Mm -hmm. You still get the information across, but it's just like another perspective on the story. Mm ways to make people feel more human through video mm. is always a goal mm -hmm. i think so our next video is our best advert and this is the pure experience by my club <laughs> my club it's it's a it's a beer a beer it's, it's beer yeah okay. <laughs> they're my... advertising beer okay the pure experience for beer <laughs> let's all experience something I really like that. It's really, really good how they've merged stock footage with the sound of the ASMR. Very effective. So good. I love so, that. I like this video because classically, mm -hmm. um, adverts for alcohol, specifically beer, is mm -hmm. geared towards men. Yeah. So the narrative around selling alcohol is always either um, through humor mm -hmm. or through sex so yeah sex sells mm -hmm. when you're only advertising to the male audience mm -hmm. and using a trend like ASMR um, expands it all and yeah. you're not just going for the key themes that advertisers always go for mm -hmm. um, so this advert isn't just catering towards um, the male need of like um, getting the girl or being powerful yeah. or uh, that machismo vibe that mm -hmm. you want to get through a beer advert mm -hmm. it's broader and yeah. then that broadens your audience um, yeah. I think also the experience that it sells is more sensory mm -hmm. I think there's so many different applications that we could use like throughout the business in ASMR it's, a, it's just one of those things where you just want to like repeat it and keep watching it you're yeah. like watching it because the content is entertaining not because it's an advert which is I think something that we aspire to do with all of the videos that we make yeah it makes it um, experiential rather than just a video mm. like you you go through like feeling fresh like <laughs> and pure like this advert is that wants how you it made feel. you feel yeah 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 it did now we're feeling fresh and pure <laughs> So our next video is the best report, and this is a video by AJ Plus. Wang and Huang, Quan and Guan, Li and Li. These Chinese American last names may have different spellings, but they're actually the same. I mean, it's cool the whole box style mm -hmm. of video reports, and people have like sort of taken it on, and that's the only thing that you can find now. Yeah. Um, but this is few one of the few I found where you can actually see the reporters mm -hmm. speaking directly to you mm -hmm. and it's enjoyable it feels it feels more direct yeah getting the personality across really can carry you through a video easily mm. because you know when it's feeling conversational I like right now you could say um can yeah carry a video and like it's all about personalities and I think that's the thing that 
we're always trying to do in the mm. video team is like find the people in the business who are the best on camera because like it doesn't even matter what they're saying if you're good on camera it just you keeps can, going yeah, like you can sell it. exactly so our next video is the best edit and visuals and this is underscore underscore yeah. slash underscore underscore slash underscore underscore it's what it's called closed <laughs> uh, whatever that is yeah places is where the past meets the present every place talks about time and people about oblivion love and indifference such a good concept it's so simple as so well simple. usually uh, you always hear it it's just the simple ones try not to overthink it mm -hmm. and you'll get something quite beautiful and effective i think this is like a really good idea for um kind of talking about the history maybe of one of our brands mm -hmm. so it can we can put it in any scenario and kind of see how things have developed over here but it's like such like you say simplistic and therefore a very stylish way I see this for a WGSM brand film personally. yeah because clearly this is a very artistic um, video yeah it's more um, art house but thinking about how you could use it mm -hmm. um, because it shows you loads of different stories within one spatial coordinate mm. um, it's a good way of compiling things. Yeah. And our channel of the month this month is chosen by Akina. Do mm -hmm. you want to talk me through it? So this channel is called Field of Vision mm -hmm. um, on Vimeo. Uh, Field of Vision is a uh, visual journalism unit. Mm -hmm. um, it tells developing and ongoing stories around the world through new perspectives. Mm -hmm. And uh, looking through the videos, you can just tell that it's run by filmmakers, it's so cinematic and beautiful, and they challenge ways of reporting stories mm -hmm. um, because there's so many different angles you can, you can tell a story mm -hmm. and visually as well that affects how you're going to understand a perspective. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was a very good channel. There is one video um, that talks about gerrymandering in the United States, mm -hmm. um, that, and that's great. Okay, enough. lay down on a couch and tell us what you see. How about this one? Maybe a dragon being eaten by a pig? This is, I don't know, an old man? I think I see a nose in there. So it cuts in something very stylized like mm. that with um, clips of news reports. The thing that I've picked up like straight away is like you're introduced to the story um, with like a direct question mm. to the viewer, which is like the best way you can start most stories because like how else could you grab someone's attention and yeah. ask them something interesting um and the fact that they've done that with like really nice visuals too mm. i think it is very visual mm. way of reporting on things yeah exactly and i think the thing is with videos like these it's uh, something that once we'd gone through kind of like the phases of scripting it's something that we could find like all of the footage online yeah. and like just adding these mm. effects, like that drone footage, for example, we could find that online, add in some... Yeah, we could do that. Make Lisa add in some fancy <laughs> lines, um, and it would work really well. So I think mm. this kind of, like, storytelling is where we need to go. Thank you for watching this month's top monthly online videos, and if you do have any suggestions or recommendations, get in touch on the email below. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and thanks for watching.